Hey guys, it's Ava. Um, I haven't posted in a couple of months. Sorry about that. Ugh, got toned down the lighting. Yeah. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm recording on my phone. So, it's not like a million dollar camera, but it's the best I got, so... Elementary, which almost all the kids who go to Wolf Creek go to Oliver because right across the street. But I like it, it's pretty cool. The lunches are pretty good, surprisingly. There's other lunches that are basically like pork chop that looks like rotten chicken. Have you seen the picture students post online of their school lunches? I saw this one where the macaroni looked like spaghetti, and they called it macaroni. But they use spaghetti noodles. Yeah, school lunches suck, but I'm good today. The good thing about Oliver is that the class, the electives are really nice. It has a band and an orchestra program. Personally, I'm in orchestra, and it's pretty good. The room gets really, really cold because I don't think our heater works. So, you always gotta either wear long sleeves or bring a jacket. I play violin, and then I'm pointing to the to the um poster behind me. Let me show you both of you. Don't mind the mess. It's a Lindsay Sterling poster. And you may be wondering why I have this if I'm 11. <laughs> well, I pretty much have eight. Like, I have the mind of an eight year old, body of an eight year old. One time I was at the restaurant, the kids' menu is eight and under, and the girl, the girl gave me a kids' menu, and I was like, this is eight and under. And she's like, I know. And I was just like, I'm 11. <laughs> wow, that's a weird face. <laughs> I can make a lot of weird faces. But anyways, I was pretty mad because like, everyone thinks I'm littler than my age. When we go to the movie theaters, um, the, I can always get the kids discount. It's pretty cool. And also, my mom's purse has like a bottom on it so she'll put the bottom up higher so there's just gap in her purse because it's actually a diaper bag but it looks like a purse she'll put a bunch of candy bars down there and then at the bottom it just looks like it's a really shallow bag and so no one can suspect a thing when the candy's below the cover of the bag yeah another tactic for drinks if it doesn't have a cap, well, it's really hard to do, but what I do is I'll, my mom's purse get a really like big one. Like bottles are usually about as big as this. Make sure it's like this much taller than your bottle, like four inches taller than your bottle. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get like a bunch of tissues or like, I don't know some sort of cloth like we usually just get like a handkerchief it's kind of i don't think people have those anymore but we'll just cover the top so when you look into the bag all you see is handkerchief and then for good measure if you really want to put two under there take one off still a handkerchief just like 
and you have your ring. You have to keep it standing up and you have to put like support items next to it. My hair brush is an example. Yeah. And bringing your own popcorn. Also, you'll need a big bag, you know those pop secret ones? How like the butter leaks out, you're gonna need like a Ziploc bag. Cause it doesn't crinkle too much and the butter and stuff won't spill in your purse. Oh, I got a pimple. <laughs> And then you're going to need one of those. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the popcorn. You're going to put it in your bag. And then if you have enough room, hide your drink in your handkerchief. Then, and if you don't have a false bottom bag, you can put your candy bar. Like, I don't know. Like, if you bring the popcorn under the popcorn or just put it in one of the side pockets of your purse. And if you're still worried about that stuff, napkins in there with it. And to cover the popcorn, just like put wall your wallet, a bunch of junk, like a makeup pouch, like a flashlight, perfume. I'm just using stuff that I have on my desk. So, and that's how you can sneak food in the movies. Well, that's what I would do. I would also, if you have those like candies that come in those like seriously crinkly wrappers or something, then yeah. They charge $5 for a candy bar. When you know those Hasbro gummy bears, that's about a dollar per bag at the movie theater. I was there yesterday, $4. $4. I could buy three more of those. Actually, probably two, not including, including tax. You know? And then, boom. It would be really good. Because then you would have, like, two times, three times as more gummy bears. And the same amount of money. Yeah. And if I feel bad for people with braces because they can't have candy like that. So, if you're bringing a chocolate bar... If you have a cold drink, I would prop it up against the drink somehow, and then just like this, and then just cover it with your handkerchief. It's so thin you can't see it. And if you don't have a handkerchief, get a bunch of tissues or napkins and put it on top, because not many people carry those anymore. It's like you have a little kid with you. I don't even have these. Never mind. Like, put stickers there. Yeah. Pretty cool. So you can put, like, anything, really. And nowadays, theaters are like, don't bring out safe food or drink, but they don't bother checking your purse. I mean, if they see a straw sticking out, they might, they'll probably check you, but... Yeah. One second. There. So as long as it's not like a straw sticking out or like you literally, like your purse is like this and you just lay like a candy bar like this, you'll be fine. Because I know they say that they check bags, but they don't. I probably whisper that too quietly, but they don't. So, I've never gotten my bag checked once. And once, I just, once we were at the movie theater and we just walked by the ticket person because we forgot. We had our tickets, but it was, they were just like looking around. They didn't see us and we just forgot because they usually stop us. And then, um, and then, yeah, so. And then we're just like, well, the movie's over. We can't use these tickets. So we just told the girl. She's like, uh, don't tell my boss. <laughs> she didn't say that, but. I feel like the best place to work as your first job, don't do a fast food restaurant. Just don't. It seems easy, but there's a lot of quirks. Like, you have to get a food permit. Which is a pain in the butt. 
you probably have to have a car to drive there unless you're really close to one. Like I live right next to a Brom and a bunch of other stuff like that. And to get a food permit, that's pretty hard because once I saw this person working at Subway, they're just like making a sandwich. They just sneeze. So you know what they did? They had gloves on. They didn't go like, like a normal person would like, and then use the same gloves, just wiped it off on their pants and use the same glove to continue making a sandwich. That was pretty mad. I watched my brother eat his sandwich. Luckily, before I got mine, they changed their gloves. So, and I just looked at my brother's sandwich. I was just like, no, 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 no. Cause that's disgusting. It really is. That's the same thing. Like when people have like Cheetos and they like lick the Cheeto dust off their fingers and like that. And then they'll like touch a bunch of food. Like someone's slicing a cake and then they use their finger. Like they touch the thing, their finger to lift up the cake after they licked it. And when teachers lick their finger to get the pages No, no. Then I have to live on my page. I'm just like, uh, no. Well, this video is getting a little long. I'll see you guys later. Bye.